This is Robbie Frank, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the four degrees of action. So, in any given situation, you basically have four ways to react to that situation. The first way you can react is by not doing anything. So, not doing anything. That is way number one. You can have a situation, anything in your life, and you just avoid it, you don't think about it, you ignore it, you're ap apathetic towards it, it's not doing anything. The second way to confront any situation in your life is to retreat. Retreating means to move away from, to back away, to stay back from something. Something scares you so you don't do it, so you, you try thinking about other things, so you make excuses why you should not do it. Now the third way to take action in life is normal, which means normal action. Now, the thing about normal is that it's the most widely used form of action, the most widely used form of uh, taking action on something, but it's actually the most dangerous. And before we finish, we're gonna talk about the only normal, actual normal level of action, which is taking massive action. Now, the cool thing about these four levels of action is when you realize that they all take the exact same amount of energy, then you really have no reason to not act in massive action all the freaking time. So let's use a quick graph. Let's say that this is where we are and this is something that we will have to confront in life, a goal or a target. Now, we can stay in place, just not do anything. We can retreat from it or we can do what most people do, which is just move slowly towards the target and do just enough, you know, we aim here, but we do just enough so that we maybe get there and maybe not, and it's not that bad if we don't. Or you can take the massive action route and 10x whatever your goal is and push through it. Instead of uh, punching the wall, punching through the wall. So you might have a lazy person in your life, somebody who you consider very lazy, who just plays video games all the time and just doesn't do anything. But the thing is, that person is already taking massive action. It's just that he's taking massive action in a negative direction. He's putting way too much energy, way too much creativity, way too much attention and focus and thinking on video games. So there aren't really any lazy people because if you look into the lives of, of somebody who's depressed or somebody who's uh, quote unquote lazy, you'll notice that they're actually putting out a lot of energy just on negative things. So a lot of energy on negative emotions, a lot of energy on making excuses for why they're in that state. So there's always the same use of energy, whether you're taking this route, this route, this route, or this route, which is the best route to take. Now, I'll give you some more examples of why it's actually the same amount of energy. Imagine somebody who came back home from work. Uh, he's a, a, a boss. He's a massive action taker in life. And in this area, in his, his career, he takes massive amounts of action. He gets amazing results. He gets respect. He gets admiration. He gets tons of cash. A very, very successful businessman. Now imagine if in his relationship, he only takes normal levels of action. So just enough. So he doesn't have an amazing marriage but he doesn't have a divorce either. It's just a regular, boring, medium marriage. Now, most people live in this way and they think that everything is fine. But when do you realize that it's not fine? When something bad happens or multiple bad things happen. Because whenever you take normal conditions, like a normal financial situation or a normal relationship status or a normal health, and you challenge it, there's something bad happens, you notice that normal is just not enough. You know, you have family and they're like, oh, we're good. We're good on this salary. We're good making this much income. We're happy. It's enough for us. But then suddenly the mom of one of the parents, her pension runs out and now she needs a thousand dollars a month just to keep paying her bills. Now your money is not that good anymore. But let's say also that your kid wants to get married and you need to pay $20,000 on the wedding. And let's say that they also want to go to college. And let's say that there's also a financial emergency in your family, some medical emergency. And let's say that you crashed your car and now you have to get a new one. So whenever bad things happen, immediately normal is revealed to be not enough. So normal actually takes a lot of energy because it's energy that's put out on being scared, on thinking what, what will happen in the future, of avoiding things, being careful of things. 
and of just feeling that you're not fulfilling your potential. But also these two levels of action, the retreating and not doing anything, these are also a ton of energy. Because imagine somebody who just doesn't do anything. Imagine how much energy it takes to convince yourself to not do anything, to convince, convince yourself to not get out of bed or to not improve your income. Whenever you retreat from things, you give in to the fear. You spend so much energy making excuses on why you shouldn't talk to your boss. Oh, you know, it's not the right time. I shouldn't ask for it. I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe now, no. Oh, but I want it, but oh, I shouldn't do it. And you just spend so much energy, but you don't get a result. So the only type of action that will always get you a result is massive action. And how do you know you took massive action? Because you created a result, something happened. You have new problems. And the way your life will look if you take massive action is if this is your time and this is your results, your, your, your results on average look like this. But if you take massive action, they're going to look like this. See, massive action is all about expansion. It's all about being big. It's all, all about exponential growth, not just having enough and oscillating between having a bit more and not enough. So you should at this point realize why well, you have to pick the fourth level of action, the massive action. And what I want you to do is to think of a few situations in your life where you didn't take enough action, where you only took normal levels of action or not enough action or, or didn't do anything or retreated from something and how much energy that, put, that took out of you, the, how much energy in excuses, in feeling bad, in rationalizing and explaining to your friends and your family why you're not getting what you want. And now think of something that you achieved massively, something that maybe you achieved 10 years ago and to this day you're still proud of, to this day you still get a benefit from it. And you're always going to see that in that situation you took massive action. So for the first time, hopefully, make that calculation. Does it make sense to not do anything in areas of my life? Does it make sense to retreat? Does it make sense to only take normal levels of action? Or should I take massive levels of action in every single area of my life? Because it's the exact same amount of energy. But here, I'm getting a reward. So this was me, Robbie Frank. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and check out other videos. And I'll see you soon.